welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, so I just finished shampooing and deep condi- Rude. So I just finished shampooing and deep conditioning my hair. I did do a random concoction of products because I'm trying to get through my stash. Be sure to let me know if you want me to start a series where I use random things in my stash as a wash day. I was thinking about doing that, hashtag use your stash, cause you know, I buy things all the time because I have a problem. So I'm randomly pulling out products that I haven't been able to get around to just yet. So be sure to let me know if you want me to start that series. Just so you know the base of what we're working with here, here, I did use the Myel Overnight Conditioner as a pre-poo and I did actually sleep with it in my hair. I cannot tell if I'm in focus. Then I followed that up with the Allocate Naturals Moisturizing Black Soap Shampoo. And then I did deep condition with the Curly Bell Banana Nut and Avocado Deep Treatment. That's an OG. Rest in peace to Michi Monroe. She used to use that all the time. And shout out to my girl P. Roy from Ask P. Roy. She doesn't really do content on her hair anymore, but loves her down. So I got a few requests for me to do a comparison video between the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel and the Aunt Jackie's Grapeseed Style and Shine Recipe Ice Curls Gloss Curling Jelly. I did mention in my review of the Ice Curls how the textures of these two gels were very similar. So the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel is a sulfate free, paraben free, no mineral oil and no petroleum product. It says it's enriched with flaxseed and wheat protein. Black seed, rich in omega fatty acids, promotes hair health from the inside out and helps to prevent dryness and flaking. Aunt Jackie's moisturizing flaxseed recipe adds nourishment to hair while giving bounce and stretch to withering curls, twists, and coils. So the Don't Shrink Gel can actually be used on dry hair as long as it's clean, but it says that it works best on clean, wet, or damp hair. It says to apply more for tighter curls, which obviously I'll be doing, and less for elongated curls. For wash and go styles, apply as needed, raking through hair with fingers, then finger styling hair into place air dry using a diffuser on a light setting. You can also use this for twists and coils and it says to apply to sections of hair distributing to each area and combing through from roots to ends. Use more for thicker longer hair. Prepare each section according to desired style. Blah 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 blah. So as usual, I'll be sure to leave the ingredients in the description box. Now I do already have a video on the Ice Curls Gloss Curling Jelly, so be sure to check that out if you want a more in-depth review. I also have the ingredients to this product down below. So the Don't Shrink Gel, it has a fresh fragrance, but it also has a hint of like sweet. I can't quite put my finger on the fragrance of this. I like it. As you can see, I've been using this for quite some time. I only have a little bit left. Good thing I'm only using it on half of my head. In case you couldn't tell from how much is left in here, I definitely do love the Don't Shrink Gel. This is something that I've used on wash and go previously. I've also used this on braid outs on dry hair, so I really do enjoy using this on both. It gives you good moisture, gives you good holds, it gives you slip. It does definitely give you long lasting definition. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's elongating but we all know that my wash goes just they just they just don't now as far as the ice curls this one smells fresher and kind of fruity today for a leave-in I'm going to be using the Myel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner you all know from recent videos that I do really enjoy this leave-in so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this On the left side, which is your right, I'm going to be using the Don't Shrink Black Sea Elongating Curl Gel. And on my right side, which will be your left, I'm going to be using the Ice Curls Gloss Curling Jelly. So just like the Black Sea Gel, this is sulfate free, paraben free, no mineral oil, no petroleum. But this gel actually also says that it has no silicones as well. And as usual, I'll leave the ingredients in the description box. The Ice Curls is enriched with almond oil and marshmallow roots. Definition, elongation, and sensational 
sh 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 Definition, elongation, and sensational shine. Treat your curls, waves, twists, or locks to this intensive moisture remedy. Infused with hydrating grapeseed and almond oils and marshmallow root for softness, superior hydration, and manageability. The directions say to use daily or as needed. Works best when used on clean, wet, or damp hair. For wash and go styles, apply throughout sections of freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. Raking through hair with fingers, then finger styling hair into place. Also says to air dry or use a diffuser on a light setting. I am going to be using these for wash and goes. As far as the texture of the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel, you can see that it's a clear gel and it's pretty thick but it does have some slip to it and I can definitely feel that there are oils in the gel as well. If you saw my ice curls video, you know that the textures are pretty much identical. You can see that the textures are pretty similar. Both clear gels, both pretty thick, and both feel like they'll be super moisturizing with oils and with slip. So on this side, I'm going to be using the Don't Shrink, and on this side, I'll be using the ice curls. So let's go ahead and apply them, and then I'll go ahead and sit under the dryer and come back with my final thoughts. I have not done the little hand mixing test to see if this leave-in is going to work with this gel. I am walking by faith, okay? So I'm going to go in with quite a bit because I like to be pretty heavy-handed with these gels because they're not as drying as, say, like a wet line. I'm using quite a bit of gel. So I want everybody to get a little love. And because I want my hair to last. Thank you so much. I don't know about this combo. My hair is definitely defined and it feels nice. But I'm going to keep going because I have things to do. So I'm gonna start this side with the ice curls. Just upon application, I feel like the Ice curls definitely gives me a smoother application. I feel like my hair just feels smoother. <laughs> I feel like the ice curls might be a little bit thicker. I am getting that same kind of white residue, which is annoying, but I'm gonna keep going. Ice Curls is a thicker formula, it's, and it's weighing down my hair a little bit more than the flaxseed gel. Am I imagining things, or is this really clumping my hair differently? I feel like, because it's a thicker consistency, I don't know, I just, it just, it feels different. Okay, so I finished applying the Don't Shrink on this side and the Ice Curls on this side. I'm still getting white residue, <laughs> but I feel like because this side has had a little bit of time to dry down, the residue is kind of clearing up. 
this is what my hair is looking like so far this is the don't shrink side and this is the ice curl side So I'm going to do my usual routine, which is spray my hair down with more water to smooth the product and shake, go under the dryer, and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Okay, I am back and my hair is mostly dry. So as you can see, the don't shrink side definitely has more volume and ironically more shrinkage. I was heavy handed with both gels. This is the ice curl side. You can see that my hair is more elongated. This side is definitely more weighed down. I don't have as much volume or shrinkage as I do with the don't shrink gel. My hair definitely feels moisturized and they're definitely both shiny and defined. The white residue that I had with both gels upon application did dry down clear. I'm very happy about on both sides there's a medium to firm cast I'll definitely get about four or five days from the ice curls and I anticipate getting that same amount of time from the flex seed gel as far as which side I prefer I guess it just depends on your preferences with regards to how you want your wash and go to look I definitely like volume so I'll probably have to wait a few days for this to have as much volume as this but the cast pretty much feels the same. I do want to also mention that my hair does have a little bit of a tackiness to it with both sides. We think that that will dry down in a day or so but when it comes down to choosing which side I prefer it just depends on what mood I'm in that day. If I want more volume I'll definitely go for the don't shrink but if I want more elongation and shine I'll definitely go towards the ice curls. You all be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.